Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Destiny Child. But, we have big news, along with me just doing, like, a lot of raids. Like, I've just been at it. But, some big news just popped up. I think we can look at it here. Yeah. So, the next collab is going to be Dead or Alive, Venus Vacation. If you guys haven't played it, I think it's, like, a real old, like, what was it? Dead or Alive uh, Extreme, I think it was. Kind of like that in a way. I don't know. I actually enjoyed Dead or Alive Extreme. It was actually really fun. Except for the, the tedious mini games that made no sense. But yeah. <laughs> so it seems like we're going to get um, Kasumi. I think that's how you say your name. And the other one with... Hmm, I don't remember the names too well, to be honest. I have not played a lot of Dead or Alive. I wish I could have, but... <laughs> that game is brutal for new players who who aren't like used to fighting games you have to learn that freaking countering system but yeah they announced it on facebook a few days ago i don't know why i'm just announcing it now i guess because i wasn't thinking about like destiny child news just because it normally doesn't like doesn't doesn't like normally pop up like real fast uh oh we got a five star what is it that's great for this video <gasps> another change thank god finally another change that's a rarity for me jesus but yeah <laughs> i cannot wait for this collab i want to see what they can do right now i can't really show you guys like ahead of time because i normally look up all the information on pc and then i kind of switch between tabs for it but for me on my phone it's kind of more difficult to find the research and stuff like that so once i ever get my pc up and running again i will bring you guys the characters early and show you guys their skills if the skills even match up what they do but yeah right now i'm kind of hindered a little bit all right sweet i've been farming the hell out of the uh, labyrinth just getting like so many characters. Well, trying to get so many characters. Um, for Ragnar Break right now. I've been going through a lot of raids. Not like too many though. Whoops. I'm still hitting 1 million too. So that's pretty good for my score. I haven't hit any today because I had to wake up early and go to work. So yeah, I'm, I'm nearly done with everything. Already got my first... Um, Harris or Heros, whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, that one's already, these two are already dead. Nobody hit them. All right, then. I mean, I normally hit Slayer raids anyway. So for those of you guys who need help in completing stuff, do make sure to put it in Slayer. Because it definitely helps out. But my uh, build has changed a lot. This is what I'm using team-wise now. I changed out a few characters. Now I have Diana, Alita, and Frage and Change, and still a Pantheon. This team has been working out like so much better. And I changed the uh, Frage like the equipment. So yeah, now we're using that. Man, I've been looking to try and get this freaking um, Soul card that gives like that extra crit damage for raids dear god that would be amazing to get anyone who gets that you are lucky because you can destroy light events pretty easy with that but right now i've had no luck in that i've been having luck in other five stars like souls but that's just the one card i have not gotten i'll show you guys afterwards this i just want to try and get this But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Dead Alive event. To be honest, we most of us thought it wasn't going to happen. But I think the major one that we know has a low chance of happening, an extremely low chance of happening, is Street Fighter. Dead or Alive, everybody kind of doubted, but I knew there was like a small chance we would get it. But Street Fighter is kind of nearly out of the question. Nearly. But who knows, we could probably still get it. Okay, he didn't die. He would have. 
If we didn't have Diana Shields. Speaking of Diana, dude, I just need another Diana and we're perfect. We're freaking golden. And why did it not change his skills? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I was not thinking about that. Yes, I was so excited that I finally got another one. Change is finally getting up there. I haven't got a single five star out of these uh platinum chests yet. Platinum chests have been hating me lately. I haven't gotten any of the lights that I need. Just that one liter. <laughs> yep, I'm still missing one liter just to finish and max her out. <laughs> That's all I want and need, man. I can't even get that yet. I open a light unit that increases like healing income. No, um, a soul ticket that increases healing. Because I know there is a win one that increases healing. That I have, and it's a four star. But I didn't really go over a lot last video. But for those of you guys who are keeping up with Destiny Child at least, and are interested in the character skills and stuff, well, we're going to go over that too. That was kind of my bad because I was in a rush yesterday. Or the last time I did a Destiny Child video. I don't think it was yesterday. But this team has been working out really well for me. Still hitting over a million. But if I had that uh, soul card, it would be like way higher in damage. All right, let's see. I do also apologize if I pronounce like a character's name wrong. Like if I'm just seeing a name for the first time, I get confused and just try to go off the back of my head with it. All right, so let's see. So we got three, no, four new characters. No, five. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> now this character that removes confusion and also heals two allies for 16 seconds and has a chance of, to cancel debuffs for dot damage, which is fan freaking tastic, but it's a chance of canceling it. But I will still build her if there if we're gonna have like a lot of trouble with like dot damage like we did with um No, I don't think it was Demeanor. Demeanor wasn't here yet. Who was it? Davi. Yeah, Davi was destroying people with um heal over time. Well no dot damage Pfft, heal over time. <laughs> but yeah, Davi was destroying people with uh the bleed. Even though we're doing a lot of damage with the bleeds with the souls and then like Bleed in PvP has become insane. I would say more insane than poison, but bleed but poison is like way more dangerous if you're in fever. If you're in fever, poison is dangerous. If you're just going through the stages, just normal fighting, bleed is just insane. Alright, so this one, this guy who looks real jacked up. <laughs> just look at those meaty arms. <laughs> Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, skills. This guy, he raises his defense and he taunts for his first skill. Okay, his slide skill, he absorbs HP, so basically life steal, and increases skill damage to defense for wood team. Okay, pretty nice. Three wood units getting increased against skills. His ultimate, which is his drive, hits two enemies and gains a barrier. Four allies. Okay, so that's pretty much universal. Okay, that's not that bad. Do like his design. Where is YouTube? Okay, there you are. So this werewolf I've had inside the Korean version. But I never knew her skills. So basically, she increased the attack of one enemy and removes curse from one ally. No bonus damage taken while curse is removed. 
Huh, that's pretty nice. So that's her tap skill. Her slide skill, she attacks up to two enemies and increases attack to 1,200 for 16 seconds and has a chance to gain awaken. Awakening, which increases your crit damage and slide skill damage by the number of buffs you have for dark and oh for dark attack units. Okay, so that's pretty good. Pretty decent support for like um, raid events. All right, so drive also incre increases damage for 30% and crit chance for 50. Okay, that's not half bad. Prioritizing dark units, but it can still go to others, thankfully. It just prioritizes them first. Then it gives the rest to like whoever. All right, it also attacks three people. I can say the um, leader debuff. Well, no, the leader buff is not half bad. And this guy, who you'll get through events, he is a debuffer and he pretty much debuffs attacks and leaves a curse. Curse empathize. Okay, so, okay. Hold on, I thought curse amplified damage with the way it was like phrased for the other characters. But no, curse actually just is dot damage and duration. Okay, for one enemy. Okay, this is my first time with like seeing curse, but uh, all right, pretty decent. All right, so slight skill deals damage to two enemies, deals 500 damage. Ugh. Defense and nor. <laughs> Dude, my, my tongue. <laughs> Blinds up to 40%. That's not how bad. Okay. The drive inflicts damage to three enemies. Increases duration of three with dot damage debuffs. So, excluding Petrify, Water Balloon, and they're... Okay. I never heard the little Necro thing yet. Sounds interesting. Can't wait to see what that is. And brings a blind that does 60% decrease of accuracy. Nice. And decreases 15% of dark enemies. Attack. Okay, not half bad. And this one I should be getting later. So she's an attacker. She deals damage on... Okay, I read that wrong. She deals damage and on light units she do... <laughs> Words, dude. Come on, wolf. <laughs> Uh, she deals damage and she does extra damage on dark units and has a chance to gain focus, which increases your accuracy and crit. Okay, first time seeing focus in the game now. Does damage to two enemies. Does 800% defense in order? Okay. Wait a minute. So curse does 80 damage Per second. Okay, I was about to say, hold on. It only lasts two seconds. I needed to read ahead. <laughs> I was about to say, hold on, man. That, that's kind of crap. <laughs> Bonus damage at the end of the duration or if it's removed. Okay, so the werewolf, if you have a curse on it, she's the only one who can cancel it without taking that bonus damage right now. Okay. Noted. I wonder if Curse is, like, really good. Can anybody... I want somebody to confirm that for me, if if Curse is, like, really good. Right now, she's really good just because her slide skill is focusing on the lowest HP unit. So that's something I really like. Her drive is also doing the same thing. I always like attackers that focus on the lowest HP unit. Just because once you kill that one unit, it basically just gives you a bigger chance of winning because they're going to have less chance of getting drive and less chance of getting fever and destroying you. So that's pretty much why I like HP. Pretty much any character or attacker that likes to hit HP. Well, lowest HP. Alright. So for her drive, she hits up to four units with the lowest HP. On cursed targets, she deals extra damage. Extra 500 damage, actually. And her leader is... 10% attack for light units. Okay. Not bad. Pretty good. But we have a lot of these. 
Uh, I got a lot of these, but I only am missing like four or five stars, man. Okay, so this one. Oh, so there's underground ones too. Okay, I didn't realize that. Increased poison damage for 500 in, in underground. So that's going to be great for like different modes. And reflect damage for Dover Rumble. Bleed Evasion. Curse damage. And this is the major one that most people will be trying to get for this event. And that's the crit damage increase for raids. Which looks pretty nice, to be honest. And this is another one that I have, which is increased poison evasion. I wish it went on to the whole team, but it just goes on to the person who who's holding it. And a chance to ignore defense and more. So there's going to be some ones with pretty interesting passives for like certain elements. Or universal, whichever one. And I have this one that increases evasion against like recovery block. So you can put that one on an attacker actually, and that helps out majorly. Now this is the one I was talking about, like increased heal amount for woods. Wish that was for lights. Here's killing an enemy and getting HP back. I haven't gotten this one yet in there yet. Okay. So absorb a hundred HP when attacking. That could be good on the attackers for sure. Max defense for defenders. This one increases bleed damage. This one increases silence. Resist, I think. Oh no, evasion. Just in case you're going up against um, Olga. I think that's how you say his name. Also increases recovery. For anybody who basically heals, right? Who heals over time? Isn't that regen? Why'd I say recovery? <laughs> I'm out of it, like always. <laughs> okay, so this increases poison damage. These are just enhances. They look weird. <laughs> and then there's just the normal three stars, which most most of you guys will get like every freaking pull. That's the one I'm using on my attackers right now. Yeah. So these are just lower forms of like others. Actually, this one's going to be pretty good for turning the character tanky. If anything, I would recommend you guys max out your four stars if you get them. If you get your five stars, then I would recommend Max. He knows out afterwards. But yeah, we missed a lot last week. And that's, like I said, that's my bad. We didn't have enough time, man. We had to kind of scatter around. <laughs> but tell me what you guys are looking forward, forward to for the collab. Because I know I'm looking forward to it. I definitely want to see what skills they bring to the table. And if they're, if they're good, then... We're going to do a summoning video with whatever I have. If they're not, then we're just going to do a summoning video with the souls and see what we get. I'm still trying to get it, get that raid card. I don't even care if the events like ends. As long as I get that raid card, the next light event is going to be easy. I already did a few summons with, um, with my rubies or scarlet, but yeah. My blood gems. That what, where did I get rupees? Psh, blood gems. Just getting off work. My brain's already fried, man. My brain's trying to relax. He's just like, dude, stop, dude. Just, just, just let me sleep. It's too bad, dude. We got another video to record after this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all is going well. Remember, guys. Even if I don't post like a Destiny Child video, doesn't mean I've quit the game or anything. If anything, you guys can ask me and I will give you guys their direct answer if I've quit the game or still playing the game. Basically do that for like any game if you guys are wondering if I'm still playing it or not. Because I could just not just be uploading it. I could still be playing it on a low and still be, you know, 
not uploading it. Or you guys can join the Discord, like I said. You guys can probably find the link in my older videos. Or you guys can just ask me down in the, in the comments if you guys are interested in joining. And we can talk about some Destiny Child stuff. All you gotta do is just comment in Destiny Child. And the players who play Destiny Child will actually comment in. Not many people talk in it, so there's no reason for everybody else to talk, basically. <laughs> but mostly Dragon Blaze is, like, really active when it comes to, like, chatting. Uh, but I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, wow, that that did not take long. I felt like that was, like, at least 30 minutes, but, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace out. God, that was a mouthful. That was fun.